Hello everybody and welcome back to Pathologic. Now before we get started <clears throat> today, I wanted to give a shout out to someone. Uh, to Gregory Esloff for the uh, a shout out and a thank you for the tips that you gave me. Um, and I really enjoy that you engage with the channel. And uh, to anyone else watching, if you want to engage in the channel, uh, to engage with the channel, uh, please do. I would I would love that so much. Uh, a like, comment, or anything. You don't have to. You don't have to. I don't. I don't mind if you don't. But it would be it would be so great if if more people would um, uh, would be willing to engage in you know and start to kind of build a community. That's something that I would really like. That's something that would be pretty cool. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. So now I know that every time I see a symbol in the bottom left corner, I'm getting a new letter. So that was, so that was a very handy little tip that he gave me. Um, I save, save my cures for the end game. And for now, and for now, I just got to manage my infection. Uh, let's see and uh, drink a bottle, like drink a bottle of Meridorm before I go to bed. And there's, and there's no infection in food, so don't worry about flavor text, and merchants sell things for the same prices, pretty, pretty much. Okay, and I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to say. So anyways, also, we forgot to talk to Victor. Um, when we left, so after we talked to Alexander, perhaps we should talk to Victor. Now or never, we need a decisive move. Also, I need to read all those letters that I missed, which is... Um, after I talk to Alexander, I'm gonna stop by Victor's place, talk to Victor, unless Alexander has something for me to do, but we'll, we'll figure it all out. I have received express messages from Kane and Olgimsky. No one will dare interfere with my choices now. We are declaring quarantine. We'll create an anti-epidemic operational headquarters. I plan to assign ourselves to be its supervisors. Myself because it is my duty. You because that would be fair. We must fight shoulder to shoulder. Do you agree? I need unrestricted authority, access to all districts, and a personal firearm. From now on, infected districts will be blocked off. No one will leave the town until the situation is resolved. You will be allowed access to any and all areas of the town, of course. Neither Kane nor Olgimsky will have any right to stop you. You will have to provide the population with clear instructions. Be careful about it. It's not my place to mentor you, though. Hmm, gotta figure, out, figure it out on our own, do we? How are you planning to block the districts off? I will recruit volunteers. We will pick trustworthy ones. People of good standing. Family men with good reputations. I will grant them the widest range of authority. They will thwart any violence or looting. They will also stop any attempts to use arms. Where and when can I be armed? Here, take good care of it. Firearms are rare in this town. If you need a gun, your best bet would be looking for it on the black market. Some townsfolk may keep makeshift, outdated, or prohibited guns. I'm sure that those would, who do will want to use them sooner or later. That is how we'll find them. But I have almost none at hand. That is truly regrettable. Thank you for this anyway. Do what you, what you think is apt. I only ask two things of you. First of all, take good care of yourself. Drink, eat, sleep, be careful. I'm afraid many will take advantage of this situation to either settle the old accounts or fulfill their hidden agendas. Secondly, spare those lives that can be spared. Thank you for the advice, although I must admit it's rather useless given the situation. My chest hurts. Can it be conscience? All right, let's see how many. I want to just see how many uh, letters I missed for day two.
Ah, we'll check him. All right, let's go back to Victor and and uh, figure out what we need to do. What's at the end here? Uh, for the time being, the power struggle between the ruling families has ceased. They have appointed Alexander Savarov as governor and granted him full civil and judicial control over the town. As such, he has declared a state of emergency. They will quarantine the town, and now everyone is looking to me to suggest a further course of action. So is this the last part of the quest? Other tasks. Nothing on that. Alright, let's go out here. Yeah, let's go ahead and head on back to over to Victor's place and we're gonna get ourselves some uh, some moolah we're gonna get paid for services rendered I just have to make sure that I'm walking the right way damn ah this is about the only way you can go here yep and I'm sorry about my habit of looking at the map every five seconds but hey, if you're gonna if you're gonna watch any games with me, you know, like that's something you're gonna have to get used to. Like that's just one of that's just one of my things. I just look at maps a lot. I want to be sure that I'm going the right way, and I have a horrible sense of direction. So, don't judge me. <laughs> I mean, not that I care if you judge me. If you judge me, I mean, good for you. But you know. All right gonna get our money from Victor unless he doesn't give us money unless he pays us in some kind of weird weird backwoods town hoodoo stuff but I hope it's money or something something useful chances are it'll be useful little girl do you have any revolver bullets that I may oh wait speaking of gun what did you uh what did I get from Alexander Oh, just another pistol? Well, I could sell that. You have nothing, little lady. I'm disappointed. Very disappointed in you. Alright. Ooh, revolver ammo. Here's your needle. I'll take that revolver ammo. Thank you very much. Cacao. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on one second. Thirty percent. And this is ninety percent. Should I even reload this? Like, I don't even know if that other revolver has bullets. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to spook you. I'm just. I just wanted to reload my gun with the bullet you gave me. All right. Let's put that away. You know what? I'm gonna equip. I'm gonna equip this revolver and use up the bullets as I need to use them, and then <clears throat> and then I'll get rid of it, sell it or something. Cause. I don't need two revolvers. What was that guy doing? Like, he spread his arms out really wide. It looked like he was about to engulf that child that was skipping oh so merrily into, into him. Be careful, kiddies around rape face. You never know what he's going to do. But yeah, it's been really cool, like, seeing, like, uh, the views that this... Uh, that this game has been getting I've been really enjoying it I'm like uh, you know it just starting out with YouTube so like every time I get a view I'm like oh oh so cool you know I'm sitting there checking my own YouTube channel like every every five seconds being like did I get another view did I get some more views oh this is no so, this is so cool you know but I just I love engagement though just the kind of guy I am. What, what? Wait a minute. That was like infectoid, like telling me I'm getting infected. Is my immunity going down? Man. How's my infection looking? Uh, let's take some of these. 
I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna help me. I have no idea how it's gonna help me, but just gonna boost that immunity, and then I need to fucking go to sleep because I am like, I'm about to pass out. I am like, my character is legit about to pass out. Mr. Dankowski with Dank and Mr. Dank in his name. Oh my god. Also, Mr. likes to get stuck on the tiniest obstacles. Is, uh, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. I got all sidetracked with all the words, with the vast amount of words that I was speaking, and I just, and, and I forgot what I was saying. Lovely. I imagine I was saying something about either him being tired or his immunity, but I, I don't know. It doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter now. We just gotta keep going with the commentary, but I gotta we gotta keep rolling with the punches. You forget you for, you forget what you were saying, you forget what you were saying. Just move on. Which I have not done. But I will do. I will commence doing that now. So Victor Victor Victor, what's up, bud? How you yes. doing? I would really like, yeah, I really want to improve my commentary, though. I've said that before, but my Karen, my commentary can get better. I thought I was supposed to it talk... It is far easier to be wise for others than to be so for oneself. I thought I was supposed to talk to Victor about, like, the reward that I was going to be getting. What about all that? I distinctly remember someone saying something about a reward. I remember Georgie being like, hey, yeah, you get a reward. <laughs> okay. So I've read all these letters. I have heard of your discovery. I believe in you. Because of this, I need to make some urgent household arrangements. Please come to the shelter as soon as possible. The prices are ri <coughs> rising by the hour. We need to hurry. God, I'm exhausted as hell, though. How do I lower that? Alright, we're going to head on over to the shelter, then. I mean, I'm tired as fuck, but... I got coffee. Okay, two ought to do it. No more than that. Damn, that like brings exhaustion down by a lot. I should be really careful though. Brings my health down too. But hey, at least at least I can keep on rolling for a while. Damn, coffee is very useful. I am going to have to buy more of that. Dang, I thought like those were only fresh coffee beans and I was just gonna have to I was gonna have to cook like actually get some water and mix it with the coffee beans somehow and blah 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 do all that jazz put it over a fire <laughs> make some coffee but apparently that's not the case apparently um Daniel Dankowski takes his coffee just as straight beans. Like, he doesn't even take coffee as coffee. He just takes beans. So. And that's alright. I mean, how... I mean, he has Dank in his name. I mean, how baller do you have to be to just... To just be like, nah, I don't drink coffee, fam. I just... <laughs> I just grab, ha grab handfuls of coffee beans and shove them into my mouth. That's a, that's a hardcore motherfucker if ever I've seen one. or I don't know. I guess it's my definition of one. Right. Anyways, these little girls also carry bullets, too. You wouldn't think the little innocent ones carry bullets, but they do. I think they carry bullets and medicine. So, they're, so those little girls are particularly uh, useful. Okay, just keep heading up towards that way. Damn, I'm surprised at how effective that coffee was. I should have just had like one little gulp instead of two. 
I took it a bit too far, guys. There's a few other things, like, you know, and I was I was talking about in the last, ep the last episode about how I thought um, that the powers that be uh, might be involved with this whole ordeal with the you know they might be the reason that the disease has spread to the to the towns and you know and one of the reasons i think this is because like in the beginning you get a little cinematic or not really a cinematic but you get uh like a narrator that tells you um that all these towns have been wiped out by a plague but surprisingly they haven't heard anything from the powers that be and it's like the plague has a will of its own now like I have not seen any, like, real proof of supernatural things occurring in this world. Not yet. Like, I mean, there sort of is. Like, there's sort of a supernatural element. But, like, I think they're mixing, like, the supernatural and, the, and like, everyday occurrences just, like, a little bit. Maybe. Like, in this world, supernatural things is, like, a little bit more normal than, than in our world, say. But I don't know. I mean, like, the Odong, you can't really call it, like, you know, the worms, whatever you, the worm people, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you can't really call them, like, supernatural, you know? Because, yeah, they look different, but they're just, like, a different type of creature, a different type of human. They're not really supernatural creatures. They don't do magic or anything like that. And I, I don't know, they're just... They just seem like regular people. They're just a little, a little messed up. They were made differently. Like I said, unsha you know, they're unshapely and and un unformed and whatnot. All right, let's talk to you. Was it a month ago? I can't remember. What do people have to say about you, Lara? I'd like to know. I'd like to see what's going on with your crazy eyes. Capella's take on her. She's the kindest person I know. Laura has taught me how to give presents, which is an intricate art in, ar in and of itself. The first thing she cares about is other people. The last is Laura Ravel herself. She lives for her friends. I also was fond of her father. The year before last, he volunteered as a fourth army captain. Yes, I mean the fourth army. Stanislav Rubin's take. After Captain Ravel was shot during the Battle of Karstov Fords, newly orphaned Lara turned her father's house into the shelter. Uh, the house that's been built by Olgimsky, Olgimsky in exchange for a favor. She is both sensitive and sensible. A rare combination in our neck of the woods. wonder what that favor was. You are the person that came to Maria Cana in a dream. I recognized you straight away. My name is Lara Ravel, and this is the shelter. You are always welcome here. My name is Daniil. Daniil Dankovsky. Let's be nice to her. Formal. Let's be friends now. I prefer being friends with everyone. You always have guests, but your face looks sad. What's wrong, Rev Laura? Why are you so sad? Why are you so down in the dumps? Well, yes. I'm the mistress of this house, after all. That doesn't mean I'm a mistress, mind you, not with a capital M. I won't ever become one. But I can also serve people to the best of my ability. Who are, uh, who are you talking about? Everyone who sits at this table. See? They are all trying to be mysterious, but in reality, every action we take is a mere consequence of a deep wound. Our words are like the drops of blood seeping from it. Sorrow is what opens people up fully. You are a poet. I'm just in a melancholic mood. We are way too used to playing the game of tragic predictions. I'm trying to arrange everything back to order. I'd be happy to help you if I can. Ruspex was offered a hundred thousand for his inheritance. He refused. There's panic everywhere, right? The prices are rising by the hour. Not to mention that we haven't received any provisions for several months. The shops are empty. The people are eager to buy anything at exorbitant prices. Everyone is trying to prepare themselves for the epidemic. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, really, I can't believe my ears. Someone has, admit, has admitted that I am right. We need to buy emergency rations, a lot of them. It will be a challenge even today, but I fear that tomorrow it will simply become unfeasible. How much do you need? We need a lot. I want at least 12 people to be able to survive for a month in the house that will become a shelter. With minimal expenses, of course. My friends and those who help me set the place up will be accepted in. My friends and those who help me set the place up, we will be accepted in, I guess is what that meant to say. And what did you do to make that happen? I've collected all the money I could find. I've sent couriers on a shopping mission, trying to find the best prices. Now I need to collect the most important donations from the Canes and the Ogimskis. Yulia agreed to make a donation too. I'm going to see them now, and then I'll join this crazy shop rush. You're not going anywhere. It's a general rule, Lara. Those who stay in survive. Those who go around shopping die. Get it? I do, but I'm used to doing everything myself, and I don't really have a choice right now. I will make the purchases. I have to do a lot of walking today anyway. Tell me what you need. I need to collect Vlad the Younger's, Yulia's, and Maria Kana's donations. Tell them that you are acting on my behalf. Then you'll need to find the best prices and buy as much bread, smoked meat, and fish as possible. Only the products that don't go bad quickly. You'll need to take it all to the house of the living. I'll show you where it is. Alright, um... Buy bread... Smoked meat. And fish. Foods that don't go bad fast. Don't want them. Okay. The house of the living, huh? I could ask her where I f could find the best prices at the moment, but like, I don't know, Gregory Gregory Eslov did tell me that the prices are all the same. I might try asking anyways though. I've heard some shops are planning to sell stuff for bargain prices from time to time. Ask the townsfolk, they should know. I see. Thank you, and forgive me for burdening you with time-consuming and mundane errands. But one day a lot of people will be very thankful in that we've managed to take care of the vital issues beforehand. This work is neither very time-consuming nor mundane, and it's definitely more than a mere errand. It's a very important mission. Yes, it is. All right, well, uh, let's exhaust her dialogue options. It is not so dangerous to do wrong to most men as to do them too much good. I don't want to... Okay, yeah, I didn't want to say we're all going to fucking die. Wait, um... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who will take I on managed to buy very little... Why are the three ruling families at odds? The lust for profit and ambition have nothing to do with it. I think they're simply confused. The final balance point is destroyed, and our whole life is going down before our very eyes. The final balance point. I guess that was Simon? Yeah, really. What's the point of an equilibrium system if a single man's death threatens your whole way of living? Here's how it used to be. Sabarov was the official leader, but Katerina was the weakest mistress. The brilliant prophet Nina was Victor's wife, and the youngest Cain held no real power. Vlad was the richest, but Victoria stopped him from abusing his resources. What happened next? Nina died. The Canes would have lost the power over the soul of the town, but Simon seemed to have absorbed her spirit. Simon didn't rule. He was a creator. Katerina, who had been inclined towards darkness before, became the Black Mistress. Let's see... Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, please spare me the bit gibberish in the future. I'm a civilized person. Good day. Good day. But she was held back by the white mistress, Victoria. The balance was restored. When Victoria died, Katarina rushed to take her place. She was quite afraid of playing games uh, with Mother Darkness by then. The last of the mistresses was struggling and throwing herself from one extreme to another. Her fiasco was made up for by Simon. He transferred all executive power over to Sabarov, but brilliantly held the soul of the town in his grasp. Balance was restored. When Victoria died, Katarina rushed to take her place. She was quite afraid of playing games with Mother Darkness by then. The last of the mistresses was struggling and throwing herself from one extreme to another. Her fiasco was made up for by Simon. He transferred all executive power over to Sabarov, but brilliantly held the soul of the town in his grasp. Hmm. And now none of the rulers know that what his family is in charge of, more or less. We'll return to the subject later. Anything else? Dogs are howling. Why? All right. So yeah, let's hit up all those different people uh, for for money because we are not doing very well in the cash department. We need moolah, like, now. Okay. So, we need to stop by Yulia, Yulia's place, Maria's place, and Vlad the Younger's place. We do not have a lot of time in the day, so we need to get a fucking move on. So, let's go. Save. And like I said, I'll do this whole day over again if I have to. But, you know, it, like, if I do fail this day, I, I, you know, I might not have you guys, like, watch everything all over again, you know? I mean, it just, it just depends. We'll, we'll see how things go. Like, I'll, like, I'll show you the parts of me succeeding and progressing, of course. But... I don't think there would be much need to kind of like show you the whole day all over again after I lost it, you know? Because we've already seen that stuff, so I can just cut to the to the good bits. If ever we have a situation like that. Or we could continue strategizing and stuff like that and talking about like, you know, and I can continue talking about like what I think of the story so far and whatnot. And, you know, y'all, whatever, we'll figure something out. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yulia, how are you Prices doing, are girl? Rising so quickly. Any kind of inheritance would come in very handy these days. What is going on in the town? I wish that I could go out and see for myself. I've come on Lara Ravel's request. Oh, true. She did say that she needed to buy some provisions, stock up on drinking water and whatnot. Some couriers have offered their services to me already, and then there was this profiteering peddler who visited yesterday. The mind boggles. Just to think that all this hullabaloo was caused by the death of one single man. There is an epidemic hazard. The, the disease we are about to face is likely to be more terrible than plague, Yulia. One man's death has nothing to do with it. You amaze me, Bachelor. Did you not make fun of the Shabnak rumors yesterday? Mind you, there was some factual basis for all the hearsay. A lot of people don't have the faintest idea of what kinds of life may be found deep in the steppe. They don't even know what kind of people live there, what kind of food they eat, what kind of effigies they make out of clay. Neither do you, to be fair. Still, you don't hesitate a moment to accept a rumor of an epidemic as veritable truth. 
Is the concept of the disease that much more familiar to you than that of a man-eating abomination made of clay? Uh, I actually saw proof of the disease, so fuck you, Yulia. It's simply because my head is screwed on right, damn it. Do you trust Ruben's opinion? And what exactly does Ruben say? Did he release any results of his research yet? No. Uh, th this is most surprising. I haven't seen him since we last spoke, even though he said he would come. Why would he go into hiding, and where did he take the body he was examining? After all, why would he be so intent on avoiding any contact with you? Yes, perhaps I put too much trust into him. He seemed like a very reliable man to me. A reliable man is exactly who he is, which makes it doubly worrying that he would act this way. I think I'll find him on my own. Let us get back to more pressing matters then. Here, take the money. I am not so eager to give everything I have to alleviate the outbreak, because I've yet to see any proof that the outbreak is real. But I am well aware of the reality of Laura's drastic circumstances. I will embrace the opportunity, however slim. Hopefully, at least part of the money will be used for purposes other than this shelter she has conceived of. This is exactly the kind of blindness that kills people during emergencies. Thank you for the do for the donation. All right. Ooh, 3,000. Nice. All right. So we got moolah. Let's get some more moolah. We need all the moolah we can get because this, mon this freaking stuff is expensive. You know, and I'm seeing an improvement, like, as time goes on. I am, like, I can, I can, you know, kind of hear, like, an improvement in the quality of my, uh, of my commentary. And I just hope I, you know, and of course, uh, hopefully I'll continue to get better and better. But I really enjoy it, though. I really do. And I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this game. It's a ton of fun. A ton of fun. Now, and another thing, like, I can't wait till, like, I'm good enough to, like, uh, what would you say, like, have my own kind of, like, commentary style. Like, when I come into my own, because, like, I am taking some cues from other people as far as commentary goes, like, and, uh, but, uh, I'm gonna try to be myself as much as possible. I think that's the best option. But either way, like, I'm totally excited about uh, doing this stuff for you guys. Alright, let's focus on the money first, and then we'll focus on the shops. Then we'll buy some food for for some people. And some of that food might be uh, used for myself as well. So this, this kind of gives me a chance to, you know, to get a few things from me as well. Unless... You know, like, Lara's a dick and takes every single bit of your food. That would be upsetting, to say the least. Very upsetting. I think... I think it would be so upsetting that my face would turn red and I would start sweating. Have you ever just been so frustrated that your face turned red and you started sweating? Like, you got physically hot that you were so frustrated? I've done that before and it's not, you know, like, it's not a good experience to be so frustrated that you literally start sweating. You know, that's the type of frustration that, you know, <laughs> cause you to have, cause you to have gray hairs before you turn 50. <laughs> I guess. Well, not, not really, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like I said. Trying to improve that commentary. Trying to improve that commentary. Get better and better at it. I'm gonna be the bestest commentator on YouTube. That's gonna be my goal. I'm gonna be like, um, I'm gonna, you know, you know how every anime character ever always wants to be the best at something. Well, I'm gonna be that anime character. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be that protagonist anime character. I'm gonna be the best, best there is. You better, you better watch out, PewDiePie. Uh, and Markiplier, I'm, I'm coming for your throne. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yes. Or, or am I? Okay. Uh, back to Maria and back to the whole game. 
You're giving me a stony stare. Is something wrong? Are you disappointed? Oh, by the way, I was gonna talk more, you know, try to talk a little bit more about, this was way earlier, but I was gonna talk, try to talk a little bit more about why I think the powers that be are the ones that are releasing this plague and some of the other things that I find fishy. But yeah, like I said before, I talked about how like they they haven't issued any kind of response, and you would think if diseases are just killing, you know, are wiping out entire towns, that the government, the powers that be, would have some form of response to it. They would say something about it, um, but apparently not. All right, and also like it seems like the town has been like. It seems like several different points of the town have been uh, infected. So, like, we got, uh, you know, Isidore's house, of course, is totally bonk bonkered fucked. Um, there's the red stuff in the water, which I'm sure is that plague, because, you know, the red mold and whatnot. And then uh, think of all the other little stories that we heard. We heard a story about the children uh, coming, you know, coming back to their parents, and they had like this red, uh, red bloodish looking liquid all over their hands. And I imagine they were touching that red mold. And uh, yeah, I imagine there are a lot of different points in the town, like infection points, uh, where they've set up places where people can go to get in, you know, infected this plague but again like that's just my theory i don't know if that's true but we'll find out i guess laura wanted to meet you to collect the donations for the house of the living i prohibited her from going outside and i strongly advise you against doing so as well yes i'm giving her my personal savings i tried to persuade my father to spare some money from the family funds but they still refuse to believe in the outbreak that is just the family line at the moment. So Maria is actually willing to donate to this cause. So maybe she's not as bad as like Victor painted her. Because Victor said that she like uh, was, you know, not very gentle and was kind of, you know, like it painted her as kind of an asshole. And that's her dad. I believe Victor's her dad. Yes, I'm giving her my personal say. Uh, yeah. Then why do you believe me? Me? I'm just not questioning anything. I'm not allowed to. If you want to know why I decided to give Laura my savings, I'll tell you this. That is because I'm compelled to. By the way, have you found the proof you were looking for? Because I'm compelled to. Seems like another, uh, like, saying something about video games again. By the way, have you found the proof of what you were looking for? Unfortunately, I have. Tell my father about it as soon as possible. If, it's, if it isn't too late, tell him that I ordered to donate some money to Captain Ravel's daughter for the foundation of a shelter. He won't refuse. He will probably offer to donate some himself. I was planning to speak to your father in any case. All right, 2,000, not so bad. Uh, no. Uh, okay. Will jo So will Georgie donate? If Georgie would donate, that would be cool as hell. I would thank Georgie a million times over. I gotta really gotta make sure. I really need to remember to like check on check up on the bound every once in a while too, because they could die like at a moment's notice, as far as I know. Cause like I I just don't know how it is. I don't know if there's gonna be some kind of warning before they you know like to let you know that they're in danger or what, but. I don't know, I just need to be careful. Tell me what you want, and I will tell you. Okay, so I guess Georgie's not gonna donate anything. Well, that's fine, Georgie. I didn't need your money anyways. Um. Yeah, we're gonna stop by Eva Yan's place just to see if she's okay. Even though it's a little bit of a waste of time. I know, I know, I know. Oh, and it's going to be nighttime, and, you know, I'll get to catch a mime show at the end of the day. Also, I'm going to uh, see if that creature that that kid was talking about, that Sticky was talking about, pops up in that area between the abattoir and the uh, cemetery. Because, you know, it might not be a creature, it might just be a regular dude. And it might be one of these government 
agents we're looking for. Might not be, though. Like I said, I don't want to commit too strongly to a theory. I don't want to get tunnel vision. But I still believe that there might be, you know, that there might be a murderer. I'm not, like, nothing is off the table at this point with so little information. Uh, but what we do know is that the epidemic is here. Yes. That the plague is going to wreck people's shit. All right, so Eve is all good. I should have just walked out as soon as I saw she was as I soon as soon as I saw as soon as I saw she, that uh, she was okay. And other and other guys that I haven't been checking on is the Stamatin brothers. I haven't been like looking at them at all. All right, uh, let's go talk to Vlad the Younger. Yeah, Vlad the Younger. Um, he's one of the persons of interest. And the reason I think he might be, like, a government spy or agent... God, is that just my infection doing that? You got anything for me, kid? Actually, I don't have any razors to give you. Well, except this one. Hey, but you don't have nothing. Am I getting more and more sick? as time goes on that might be a problem am I gonna have to manage that shit until the end of the game oh please no please no oh I don't wanna have to do that oh oh but it is what it is I don't know man if it's something I have to manage like that Gregory, if I get if I get a cure, oh no, oh, I don't want I don't want to deal with that infection. Or did I just happen to like was that just the infection getting worse on its own, or was I unwittingly next to an infected area? Haruspex shouldn't have entered the game. He has already lost. All right. Um. The reason I think, you know, like, Vlad, the reason Vlad the Younger is a person of interest to me is that, like, okay, first of all, why is he staying in this fucking, you know, the, this wrecked building with the, with the windows bricked? Like, why is he staying in here? And, like, why is he talking to, like, I know, like, he's studying the kin and whatnot, but, like, what if, like, what if he's the one who's conducting everything like what if he's uh you know getting information from like the odong like that's why he's talking with them and he might also be giving them uh like little pieces of viral mold or stuff so that they can spread the disease um but yeah and those two guys that we saw um the morning after simon's murder you know the the first day here those two guys we saw by the campfire you know i think i, I think i talked about them last episode too as well um but you know the the worm guy was sick so we know that you know he was more than likely infected with the plague and you know i'm just wondering since he has a bunch of contact with those guys like I don't know. It just seems a little suspicious. And, um... Anna Angel, I already talked about that. Like, the people that she moved in with died of a mysterious disease. So that's really weird. I imagine she could be an agent. Or there could be multiple agents. That's if, like, this is true. So, like, just keep in mind, though, I am not gonna get tunnel vision. I re that's something I refuse to do. But, like, I am elaborating on this theory. But I am going to... I'm going to do my damnedest to not get tunnel vision. I want to consider other possibilities, but right now, I think the powers that be, uh, you know, uh, as the culprits, works the best for now. For now. But as we get more information, I'm sure that, you know, that my ideas will change and adapt as we go on. Okay, so and Angel. Um, Alright, yeah, I talked about her... Uh, so, Sabarov. Why is he a person of interest? I don't remember if I read this either. Sabarov has been impeding my investigation in certain places and helping me in other ways. Could he be the head honcho of the spies? Apparently, according to Maria, they have a new heir. 
Where did this new air come from? Yeah, I did talk about this. I remember. All right, uh, let's let's talk to Vlad the Younger. See what's going on. I've come at Lara Ravel's. We have well, we'll have to figure out how to keep on living. I've come at Lara Ravel's request. Yes, I remember the arrangement. Here's what I can personally donate. It's a pity I can't extort a nicer sum from my father. Can he be convinced somehow? It's no use even trying. Oh yeah, I, he's right, because his father's a dick. Really? Why? Uh, he has his own opinion on the matter. I think he accepts that you might be right. He accepts it, but he won't admit it. See the difference? Obviously, getting solid proof is disadvantageous to him for some reason. Not to mention that it would immediately cause him expenses. I can see the difference, but I don't understand the game he's playing. I'm not going to discuss that. I can only sympathize with you and advise you against disturbing my father with this question. Hmm. I see. Four thousand. Ooh, Did boy. you hear that? You got stacks. Did it come from inside the well? Or am I getting the jitters? Tell me, Master Vlad, do you believe that we're facing a real epidemic hazard? I still don't understand how you came to the conclusion that the disease which killed Simon is contagious. Even if we assume that the rumors of a death carrier are nothing but rumors, which I doubt. There has already been an outbreak of an unknown disease in your town. I used to occasionally communicate with Is Isidore Barak, the man who put an end to it. But I'm sure Isidore never told you about this. The brief encounter with the Sand Plague put him in a state of primal terror. Did you know that? His opinion of his role in stopping the outbreak was not very high, and he ascribed that victory solely to circumstance. It's strange he didn't suspect anything when examining Simon. If you are right, Bachelor, and there really is going to be a Sand Plague epidemic in this town, there will be no stopping it. Uh, you don't need to waste your life, and you cannot help us in in any way. Your only goal is to survive until the station is reopened. And see, he's saying some suspicious things like this, like, "Oh, like, don't waste your well, don't waste your life. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the plague that's killing everybody." Jeez, man, take a load off. Quit worrying about people dying and stuff. Jeez. Peculiar fatalism. Are you saying that the services of an educated medic won't be of any help to you? Education is of no use here. Oh, yeah. It, I think it's of major use here, buddy. I think you're very wrong there. Isidore may have had no medical education, but he managed to drive the demon back to hell. By the way, he mentioned that one can't beat the plague by traditional means. Also... Um, there, another reason why Vlad the Younger is a person of interest. Remember that guy he tried to have killed? Well, I'm glad I didn't kill him now, because I think that he wanted to have that guy killed because he would have, uh, you know, inform he would have leaked information about what was going on to the outside world, and maybe that guy saw something that uh, that Vlad the Younger didn't want him to see, possibly. Let's see, education is of no use here. Isidore may, may have had no medical, medical education, but he managed to drive the demon back to hell. By the way, he mentioned that one can't beat the plague by traditional means. What means can it be beaten with, then? It cannot be beaten. Isidore was a wise man. He was born here and knew many things that no education can provide. Bachelor, your goal is to survive. Save your talent for the capital. Leave this place. My father will be happy to assist you. Thank you for the advice, but I will decide what to do with my talent on my own. Like, why would he want the fucking... Interest a, speaks... A fucking doctor to leave. The only person here who's, who's really capable of doing something. And, like, there's Reuben, but Reuben, like... Reuben hasn't been educated either, I take it, so I don't know. Alright, let's head back up to uh, the shelter, and... Oh, wait, no. We need to buy foodies. We need to buy lots and lots of foodie food for the people. How much foodie food do we have to buy? Whatever, we have to have a month's worth, they said, so... 
Where's a foodie food place? Foodie food place? Where are you? <laughs> Just take all the money and be like, oh man, I couldn't find I couldn't find enough food for you guys. Sorry. No, but I'm a man of the people, so every single bit of that money will be spent on food. All of it. Not like all of my money, but I, I'll save some, but it's just like I want to save enough money to get by, but I am going to buy as much food as I can for people. I want things, you know, I want to make it things as comfortable for people in this town as, you know, as I possibly can. And, you know, I know they're just a bunch of video game people, like, that's, you know, I understand that, but... In, in that this is a video game, but, you know, I'm immersed in it. I love this game. Like, literally, I'm loving it so far. And then the other game that I'm playing right now, uh, that, you, you know, you guys, if you, you know, if you like horror and point-and-click games, uh, Detention is another series that I have going on right now. Uh, you guys should check that out if you like that uh, like that kind of stuff. And it's a Taiwanese horror game. But um, I don't want to talk about another game um, while I'm playing this one. So, you know, I'll get off of that. And I'm not ever going to bring it up again. But, you know, it just seems... It's a series that seems, you know, like it has been going on for very long. But it's kind of struggling a little bit. And, you know... Yeah, and it's a great game, and I, you know it. It deserves exposure. It's a Taiwanese game, which is which is cool. So, but I don't know, and I don't know if YouTube's algorithm, like I think YouTube's algorithm, doesn't affect uh, people who aren't, you know, aren't running ads on their channels, like or that aren't getting paid for it, that or that haven't, you know, had their channel monetized. Um, but, well, I don't know. I don't know that for sure, but I think that I, I did hear that in certain cases that they did make it harder to find videos, you know, with certain subject matter, whether they were monetized or not. It, it just made th certain things harder to find. Alright, well, since our exhaustion is, you know, in a pretty good spot for tonight... I'm thinking, shit, like, we could really, like, we could try to see what's up with that, um, with that guy between the abattoir and the cemetery. That's really interesting to me. All right, we're going to get some meat. Uh, God, 3,300. That is fucking outrageous. No, get rid of the meat. We're not buying the meat. We need the smoked meat. Dried fish. Dried fish keeps fast. Uh, keeps for a long time. Keeps fast. All right, no eggs. All right, so we're gonna buy all of that. Only two thousand six hundred twenty-eight, huh? Damn. Well, I can buy one more thing of food. Just one more. Man, all that money, like, just fucking gone like that. No, 2,000, I need to I need to hold on to 2,000, like, man, I'm sorry, Lara, I'm so fucking sorry, but, like, I need that money. I mean, and, no, I can't, I can't, I gotta buy more food, I gotta buy at least one more smoked meat. I want to, just to help him out as much as I can. Because I'm a big old softy. I'm a big old softy that doesn't like to see people suffer. Even if they're, even if they're just made up of a bunch of fucking polygons. Polygons, pixels, whatever. And their thought processes are just 
you know, not even pro thought processes. That's just things they do, things that they're programmed to do. All right. Um, any other food places close by? Ah, whatever. I'll save it. And if it's not like a whole bunch of food, then why am I going around here? Like, what are you doing, Corbin? Yeah, and I'm gonna have to buy some, you know, get some hold of razors, needles, fishing hooks. Man, I need all that shit. I gotta go to the tailors to buy that stuff. I don't wanna buy it. I wanna find it in dumpsters. I'm a dumpster diver. Ruspex was offered a hundred thousand for his inheritance. Did you know that they he refused? Shut up, I'm trying to tell a story, trying to say something. Did you know that they call me dumpster diving Dankovsky? Bet you didn't know that. Uh, anyways, what will become of us? I managed to buy very little. The shop owners are demanding a cart of grains worth for a loaf of bread. We need more. The, there are shops that throw goods out at bargain prices from time to time. It's because people say the, that requisitions are, are to begin soon. Please, you're our only hope. Everyone I sent on this mission have brought twice as little as required. I'll try to work a miracle. What? What else can I do for you? How can I... Mm. Alright, so how, did she take the food? No, why didn't you take the food? All I can buy? Alright, little girl, do you know of any reputable establishments that uh, sell, like, food at a bargain? Even though the guy I did a shout-out for told me that that just doesn't happen? So, you know. I don't know, but we're going to head for the abattoir, and we're going to see what's up with that little critter between the cemetery and the abattoir. See if we can catch a glimpse of him. Uh, where's my character? Right there. Okay. So this way, right? Yes. Let's go this way. And just keep on, keep it on, keep trucking, keep trucking, you're nearly home. That's not even a song, that's just a song that I'm making up at the top of my head. But, uh, hope you like it. <laughs> keep trucking, keep trucking. Home's only a thousand miles. In a thousand miles, been walked a thousand times in your shoes. Did I already buy food from this guy? Yeah, I fucking did. You son of a bitch. Well, I wanna. Well, dang de dang. Dang de dang de dang dang. I want to go over here. I want to get on the bridge that's way closer. Oh, and it's nighttime. I need to be extra careful because there are going to be assholes that throw knives coming out. And I would really not like to have knives thrown at me. It's bad for my health. Like, just knives in general being inside you are, like, is bad for you. So, you know. Alright, can I eat that raw meat? I'm just gonna check. Will it make me sick if I eat it? What about the egg? Let's eat the egg. Fuck it, we'll eat the raw meat too. Why not? We're just gonna eat into that shit like we're savages. Alright, uh, take it right here. And it is getting dark, 2112, so that means it is. Seven, eight, nine o'clock. So 20, uh, 20 is eight o'clock. Oh, damn. 
alarm. Sorry about that, guys. That's my timer telling me that it's time to cut the, uh, you know, to quit the video. But I don't want to. I am having fun. But, uh, speaking of fun, we definitely know that something fun is going to happen next time, don't we, guys? We're going to try to get a sneak peek at the, at the, uh, duty dude with the long neck like long multiple heads or something i don't know whatever's going on with that dude we're gonna we're gonna figure it out we're gonna see him if we can like if we don't see him today we're gonna see him someday hey buddy oh food more food more food exactly what i need oh shops closed Oh, thank God. I was like, oh, the boy, the shop's closed. I'm fucked. God, that's so expensive. Why does it have to be that expensive? I can only buy one. And then I'll be left with a thousand and five. Look. Damn. I tried. I tried as hard as I could. Oh, wait a minute. Dried meat? Will dried meat work? Let's try some dried meat. And perhaps there's more dried meat that we can find along the way. Ah, I just want to get this quest done. Please. Please let me get the quest done. Please. All right, this is the way I need to go. Man, and I am doing bad on health. Why, uh, I need like a bandage. Elastic antiseptic facilitates recovery. Hmm. I don't know, I'm a little confused as to what brings up my health and what doesn't. What exactly, do, what do bandages do? Yeah, I, like, I'm gonna need some help for, you know, from you guys on a few things, too. So that's another reason, like, uh, I think it would be really cool if you guys could, you know, engage more with the channel. But like I said, it's up to you. It's up to y'all. If y'all, if y'all want to lurk, you lurk, you lurk is to your heart's content. I did that all the time. On many channels and many streams, I lurked and lurked and lurked, so... Lurkers are alright in my book, there's nothing wrong with them. Alright, we're getting close to where we need to go. And y'all know I'm gonna leave you on a cliffhanger. Y'all know that I'm gonna end this video just like right before we see the monster and we might not even see the monster at all so don't know but I'm sure we're gonna have to do a little sneaky do alright this is interesting go over to this place get some water oh no nope. can't get any more water what if we really did see that critter that would be interesting infection still looks like it's getting a little higher don't like that. All right, we're going to save right here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment if you did enjoy it. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys next time and i am so excited for this game so excited for the stuff coming up it's gonna get crazy i i hope at least i hope so at least i hope it's gonna get crazy all right, all right. see you guys